Good day everyone. I will discuss how you can download and display ETIS data and its potential use. ETIS stands for Integrated Taxonomic Information System and it is one of the standard databases for taxonomic information. Taxonomists, ecologists and librarians, they're often looking for accurate scientific and common species names and synonyms. And as such, ETIS is often the first step in looking for this information. When going to the ETIS website, you can choose to do a quick search on their starting page using either the common name, scientific name, and or the taxonomic serial number. Or you can choose to do an advanced search where you can also search on the taxon author and use several filters. And you can also choose the fields to display in the report output. For example, when we look up the name scalloped hammerhead, we get one hit of a species in, within the common names in the kingdom Animalia. This is another example of the hits you get when looking for the word sea bass. You can see a mixture of species, genera and family names and whether they are accepted or not. When we click on, for example, the genus black sea basses, a number of information pops up in the form of a report. Here I want to point out this particular number. This is a taxonomic serial number or TSN. It is a unique and persistent identifier for names within ETIS. Each taxon, whether it is a family or a species or a genera, has a unique code like this. As such, it is comparable to the AFIA ID used in the World Register of Marine Species or Worms. To download the data, it is available in two different formats. The first one is a taxonomic workbench file, which serves as an input file into the taxonomic workbench tool of ETIS itself. This tool is used to edit and manipulate taxonomic data to be eventually resubmitted back into ETIS itself, so I will not discuss this one further. The second format, a more interesting format, is a DWCA download. This generates a file in the Darwin Core Archive format, which is the format most often used for taxonomic data exchange. A zip file will then be downloaded with three files, and the most important of these files is this taxa.txt file. This is an example for the Black Sea Bass genus. This file can now be used to be exchanged between different taxonomic databases and can be used in several web services. To display the data, I imported the text file into Access using the Import Text File button. And as you can see, everything is now nicely and orderly displayed, and this table can now be linked to other data in a relational way. In order to show the potential use of this data, I used a very simplified version of the scalloped hammerhead species text file. I imported this file into the LifeWatch Virtual Lab online and used the, the web service Reverse Taxon Match by ETIS Taxonomic Serial Number. This will return the record in the World Register of Marine Species of this species based on the taxonomic serial number in ETIS. A text file is created showing that in this case an exact match was found in worms for this species. Additional info is also present present, such as the AFIA ID from worms and the status of this taxon on worms itself. As you can see, this data can, then be, can thus be used to cross-reference between different taxonomic databases. Thank you for watching.